Hey, it's your boy, Chango, coming at you with another video. This one is Best of Theo Vaughn and Chris D'Elia, part one. I'm not, I, I, I'm not too familiar with him. Uh, I've heard he's funny. Let's get right into it. What's the deal with airplane peanuts? Dude, what about when people are like, oh, I can't believe you were in town, just missed you. Oh, dude, that is the bane. Bro. Dude, it's so hard to not go nuts yeah. about that. I go nuts about that. It's so I, I can't I, believe I missed you. Can't believe I didn't know you were here. Yeah. You, well, I'm your, how about this when they tag it with this? I'm your biggest fan. Yeah. No you're not, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was in your city. <laughs> 2000 people knew it. Yeah. <laughs> 2000 people sat in those seats. Those fans, there are 2000 yeah, bigger fans of me in your city. Yeah. You shouldn't even go He's outdoors, bro. Bro, you're embarrassing. Yeah, and it doesn't even—you don't even get it. And, it <laughs> and it's and it's and the fucked up thing is for me to say that it's embarrassing. I sound elitist, but fuck that. It's yeah. still you're embarrassing. It's bro. embarrassing. And here's the other, what else are you a fan of? Do you love your mother? Do you love yeah, your fucking yeah, family? Yeah. Probably not. No, probably not. Not as much as you think you do. Probably not. If that's how you, I think as about. a matter of fact, if I had a son and he was whoever's biggest fan and he missed their show yeah and he said but i'm their biggest fan i reevaluate my whole relationship with that son dude for real man uh, it's very scary i have great chest hair too oh wow and somebody See, saw it that. the other day on a video and it was like 70 yeah. people said something yeah yeah, hurt my, yeah 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 it first it hurt my feelings then it reminded me of my grandfather well and that's kind of not bittersweet but also uh to have 70 people talking about your fucking great chest hair that means you made it yeah. <laughs> if you have 70 people talking about your great chest here, you made it. Yeah. yeah. But you're, we're the same age. Right? Yeah, no, you are a couple months younger than me. I'm wow. 39. But that's, we, we would say same age in, yeah. the, in life. Yeah, you, yeah, would, you wouldn't be like, no, I'm a few months older than you, because that would be so weird. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's yeah. true. Yeah. Like, we're both 39. You wouldn't be like, no, we're not the same age. My birthday's first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, maybe one's 40 and the other one's, you know, it's he'll be 30, he'll be 40 in a few months, then maybe. But yeah, fucking Theo with his weird shit, right? <laughs> By the way, when I say I've never seen him before, I met Chris D'Elia, Theo Vaughn. Fucking, I've been making Theo Vaughn videos for those of you that are new to this channel. So I have a playlist on fucking Theo Vaughn videos, but when it comes to Chris D'Elia, I'm a noob. So, uh, so far, so good. Let's, let's carry on. Tell him how old you really are. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it was just a couple of days earlier. Yeah. Man, oh, yeah. That's like asking. If, if somebody told me, by the way, we lie, you're 45, I'd be like, that makes a lot of sense. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> On YouTube and shit, people were watching it very visual. I mean, look at rap now. Look, you got to have orange and purple and pink hair. Takashi 6 fa And face tattoos. <laughs> Takashi, bro. Yeah. Nobody's about the, nobody's even about the fucking music anymore. Yeah. Do you know? If Takashi hits you up, bro, really, yeah. right? Yeah. He hits you up. Like, you get an email in the middle yeah, of the yeah, night, Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. First of all, it's awesome to think that he emails. <laughs> okay. How about this, dude? You get an owl that drops a letter through your fucking letterbox. Right? That's more like him. And the owl is yellow and purple and orange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah the owl has his long yeah, hair. Yeah. And it's in his eyes, bro. He's flying yeah. all crazy, and maybe right? maybe has 68. Yeah, yeah. Owl eye. And, uh, yeah, and you get a letter, and it's mm -hmm. for him for from it's from him to come down to like Dominican Republic or wherever he keeps yeah, claiming yeah, yeah. he lives. Right. Um, do you go? Do you go? Uh, no way. No. <laughs> for what? You would. I'd go. Yeah. <laughs> I would hate that, dude. I'd hate to be fucking some guy from a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah, I would you too. Imagine dude. that. Like it's hard enough probably banging some guy you don't even want to fuck these days, you know. But imagine. A thousand years ago, banging yeah. some dude. When people are like, hey, you know, people think it's magic. People don't know what it is. Yeah, and I'll also tell you that they were not clean. Oh. They were so dirty. They were just outside oh. a lot more, you know? All the hair on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different yeah. times, dude. No. Bro, don't make that sound. That's yeah, one of the yeah, worst yeah, sounds yeah, people yeah, make. Yeah, yeah, My yeah. freaking grandfather used to always make yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you love good humor, man. You love it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy, yeah. bro! Almost how much you love, like you really love it. Yeah, I laugh so much, dude. I mean, like the, one of my favorite things to do I'm is to get. Way. You know, sometimes you come eat, but like after the show is to like go to a <laughs> oh, yeah, diner. Dude, like, dude when we're all making fun of each other. And what shit? about that one guy that like who 
<laughs> eats with both of his. He still uses both utensils at the same oh, time. Oh, is that Joe? I don't know, bro. Joe's a weirdo. Yeah, just like some some guy, guy from Chicago. He keeps yeah. having a beard and then not having a beard. Yeah, kinda. yeah, yeah. That's Joe. Yeah, he's a weird he's like fuck. Right dude. over. That's like he works for his food and uh, he has to be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, it always somehow looks like he has two jackets yeah, on, yeah, even yeah. though he only has one jacket. I always joke with him. I say like, it always looks like you're wearing a backpack, even though you're not. <laughs> that guy fucking always is wearing a backpack. I don't give a shit if he's naked. He's got a backpack. Yeah, dude. On. <laughs> it looks like he was married and had a family at like nine years old, bro. Like he fucking looks like he's been through too much. Oh man, dude, how many waiters at Macaroni Grill did you look like over the years? Whenever, <laughs> whenever you went in there, honestly, I've I will tell you this straight up. I've never been a Macaroni Grill. Oh, bro. I know you don't believe me, but bro, I never been a Macaroni I Grill. Don't believe you, I bro. know. I know. I know, I get it. I wouldn't believe me. If a guy like me said, I've never been a macaroni girl, I'd be like, get the fuck out of here. I would never trust that guy, but I've never been. See, it would be cool if your kids were immediately the same height as you, like once they hit like nine years old mm. or 11. That would probably be an advanced package you'd have to buy. Yeah. yeah. But can you imagine yeah. some 11-year-old same height? Uh, you know what I would do? Weaker neck and arms, though? Uh, fucking calf power. I'd have my kid have a calf power. Like I don't have 20 percent. You'd have like yeah, maximum yeah, yeah. 20 yeah, on calves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Fuck, like, man. Damn, look at the calves on that guy. Brown so, eyes, not blue eyes. No way. Have you ever met a guy with blue eyes? Do you have blue eyes? No, I don't have blue what do you eyes, have? dude. Look at me. I'm yeah. five feet away from you. You got like brown eyes? Green eyes, Green yeah. Eyes, yeah. I would never trust a guy with blue eyes. They're just hand, hands down. I, you know, it's just Nick weird has to me. But it's not. Bizarre. I'll tell you so what, Nick. Gianni, and, and, but yeah. I'll tell you what, Nick. That's not sexy to have blue eyes as a guy. Yeah. Yeah. You don't and think so? Also, blonde hair. You're pushing it. Uh, uh, guys yeah, you don't have too. blonde hair as a guy. A guy with blonde hair, no. A guy with blonde hair, blue eyes, no way. Yeah. Because here's the thing. You got to look good in a fucking black leather jacket as a dude. Mm. And if you have blonde hair, you don't. You got to yeah. wear a brown leather jacket. Ooh, brown leather jacket some my mom wears. But 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 it's okay to wear a brown shit. leather jacket sometimes. But if you're a blonde guy, you got to wear it all the time, and that's not okay. I don't know. See, where I'm from, it's fucking cold. Today specifically is fucking cold as shit. Like all day today, we have fucking shivering. <laughs> <laughs> but uh so i'm always getting new jackets and shit i mean you watch my videos some always weren't rocking this fucking north face fucking jacket but uh i would rock a brown fucking leather jacket fuck yeah sign me up fucking black leather jacket yeah yeah i like this puffer i like the look you know but i would totally rock some other shit it's just how many jackets do you need right <laughs> I got like these uh peacoat fucking dress jackets. Like I, I got a brown one, I got a black one, I got this. I got a few different ones, but I just don't need more jackets. That's the only reason why I don't have a brown fucking uh leather jacket. Cause I just Yeah. What what the fuck do I need so many for? <laughs> but uh anyways, let's carry on. Yeah. Well I do. And that's how it is. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't. Re I'm glad somebody had an Bro, insight. I spent my time thinking about this shit. You, I mean, you want the kind of people that they'll die for you if you have to. It's never going to come down to that, but yes. Do you think there's somebody out there that would? What? One of your fans that would die for you. Oh, I don't know. Pro well, there's crazy people out there. There's so, crazy people so yes. out there. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. But, but, but you do, too. Yeah. I got some people that might fucking pull their hair out. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever anybody that's fucking killing themselves. So, like, you might have a fan out there that would fucking kill themselves. And but bro, that's not a comment on how powerful I am. That's a comment on how it, sad people are. It how is. crazy people it are. Is. I think you have people that would probably <laughs> at least, ele like, shock themselves for you. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? A heavy electric shock. Yeah, heavy, heavy. Okay. Yeah. Something that's going to shut them down. Or a failed <laughs> attempt. Yeah. yeah for me maybe jump off a building yeah and people are like well you know that's gonna happen and you knew it how high what, what if the building what if it's, what if it's only <laughs> all right so you're at probably maybe two <laughs> stories yeah, yeah. <laughs> i meant somebody jumping off their balcony maybe <laughs> you're at like about six stories maybe bro. somebody might fucking hit maybe. it all i like, got what are you doing like, to kind of do you to take care of yourself do you well i work out a lot you do yeah um and because like i get i get bored on the road but then also i just was like I want to do action movies. Yeah. Like, like, so, like, I'm like, if I'm going to do that, I have to actually do actual work. You have to look the part. Yeah. Do so, you, so I started working out really fucking hard. 
are you doing unique types of training because you seem like somebody that doesn't do i see you in some of your videos i see you you know i know that they had the shoulder documentary thing that yeah. people were you know that they're, they're pitching outside, and yeah. stuff and i know the shoulders are outside right now no the the docu the guy the crew I, oh they are i try to speed away but they're fucking good drivers yeah yeah Oh, that's crazy, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's um, the Trapparazzi, too. They're trying to get pictures of people's traps. Right. And But y are you doing any like, unique training? I see you doing like American Ninja Warriors stuff. When I think of you and get <laughs> jealous a little, some really? of the jealous thoughts I have are of you swinging off and of so the, different the stuff. thoughts of me, the jealous thoughts of me are all about me being active. I like that a lot. Yeah. Now they are <laughs> since you told me you wanted yeah. to be an action uh -huh. hero. Right. So, so you've had those jealous thoughts for about... 35 seconds yeah no but, i've had them provide six or seven uh, years okay okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember somebody ca they came they offered me uh something i can't remember what the show was something with pirates or something no see i would have said yes in a heartbeat to that <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> Just to do that bro i don't see how some movie maker doesn't look out and see like a ship coming into a new land and you're on it bro dude you're at the front maybe who are you telling, bro? <laughs> That's true. Huh? I know. Well, I that, know. I'm on the front of that <laughs> shit. <laughs> dude, I know, shit, dude. Ah, oh, fuck. And you have both your legs still, and people are yep. fucking just. Dumb How did he do it? How did he get 38 with both of those legs? <laughs> yeah. I'm still here because I'm still here, motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. What I've been working on a lot lately is a lot yeah, like what is that. It? Is when I when I'm staring at somebody, mm -hmm. and then they look at me. You know, the the instinct is to look away, but that's a bitch move. You gotta keep staring at them. If they're if you're staring at them, and they catch you, <laughs> you're like, "This is what I was doing, and I'm not stopping because you chose to live your life." <laughs> that is something you gotta do. That, I've been working on that. It's very hard for some reason. Isn't that oh, weird? Yeah, it's very hard the because it's extremely weird, unnatural. I know it's very unnatural, but I think that we can switch that. I think that we can change <laughs> no, no. that. I think we can change that. I want because here's the thing. I want my kids to fucking do that. Right. So I have to work on it for myself. And this way, when they're growing up and they <laughs> see me kids doing that, be psychos. Yeah, they're gonna be real they're gonna psycho. be in the front yard just looking at the yep, fucking yep. neighbors. Yeah, I can't wait. I, I actually can't wait. <laughs> the neighbors out there picking up dog shit and looks yeah. over at him. They don't my look son's away. Just like, <laughs> like a fucking serial killer. I've always heard. What is it like? Two seconds? Three seconds? Like, it, you don't want to be too weird, right, when you're making eye contact. Like, just fucking stare forever, right? They look away, they turn back around, you're looking at them. Turn away, look back around, and you're still looking at them. Like, at a certain point, it gets pretty creepy, right? But if you can hold that fucking gaze for, like, maybe two or three seconds, right? I, I feel like that's, it makes you look confident, but at the same time, you're not a creep, Moral of the story, don't be a creep, right? <laughs> I think he's kind of onto something. What the fuck is wrong with those kids? And I and then I and then I and then I call them and they go, "Hello." And I say, "Nothing." <laughs> Click. <laughs> you think there's a lot of dads that ever hug their sons and be like, "Man, my son ain't shit." <laughs> you know what? I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> I but hope I also so. hope that secretly they were like, "But I fucked up too." Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Like, yeah, he's not shit, but I'm all, you know, yeah i'm so realizing that i'm not shit either if he's not shit did you know what i'm realizing if we had a podcast together yeah it would take over you think i yeah i do think so <laughs> really yeah <laughs> well maybe we'll think about that but yeah that would be fucking insane bro are you i kidding think me? we're too yeah we're just so different though I that's think. why it's good yeah just two white guys kicking it <laughs> oh yeah dude <laughs> The Endangered Species Podcast, yeah. bro? Because we're going out of fucking business, man. I don't want to do so much shit. Like, there's like three things I like doing, you know? And and sometimes jerking off and coming is one of them. So don't take that from me. Don't okay. try to, yeah, don't try to, don't try to like be like, I feel bad. Yeah, you're right. I <laughs> wish my I hobby. did, man. I wish yeah. it was awesome. Like, I yeah. just got up in the morning. I was like, oh, I'm going to fucking jerk off real quick yeah. and then enjoy the rest of my experience today. <laughs> it's just not how it works well, for me. Well, let me ask you a question. Do you, and I don't even really like talking about this, but do you, do you take your time doing it or do you just do it to get it done? Mm, I usually, I can get it done in less than a minute. I don't ever take more than two wow. minutes. Well, that might be one of your problems. 
You think so? Take yourself out on a date, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know? Like, go out to dinner. Oh, that's not a bad nice. idea. Do something nice. You huh? know what I mean? Go to, like, fucking Pizza Cucina or some nice shit. I don't even know if that's a place, but, like, yeah. some place that would sound like that. And go... Go to, like, a Hardee's that has an upstairs. Yeah, 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 100%. <laughs> Hardee's with upstairs? Like, yeah, where they, you're like, are you guys seated up there? <laughs> and they'd be like, no, no, I'm like, I'm on a nice date. And they'd be like, all right, all right we got one seat up there. <laughs> sure, <yeah. laughs> you just sit there, you drink some wine or whatever the fuck you don't drink, but, like, you get some club soda. Yeah. And you just fucking. You have a conversation with yourself, you know? Yeah, like, not out loud, but in your head. And then you go home and you fucking think and, like, you know, that was nice. Yeah. <laughs> and, and if there was somebody there, you would be like, that was very nice, wasn't it? And they'd be like, yeah, it was nice. Yeah. I have a good that. time, dude. Shake hands with who the fuck you are, bro. Yeah. And then go home. Turn on some Netflix, maybe watch fucking Always Be My Maybe. And then afterwards, or in the middle, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you know when you're watching the Netflix with the girl. Do you pause it or do you keep going? No, nah, you keep it going. Oh, wow. Fucking Netflix and chill by yourself, right? <laughs> Netflix and chill alone. Okay. Fucking take yourself out on a date. That's a weird one, but he's on to something. Uh, yeah, you do. It. No, you don't, though. Think about it. Think about if you're with a chick. You don't yeah. pause it. I you, pause it to let you her know. You pause it? Yeah. That's a boss move. Wow. You're an alpha. Am I? <laughs> oh, bro, hey, bro, bro. <laughs> think Am about I? that no. shit. You're watching a movie with a chick. You're watching. You just go, boop. Yeah. That's amazing, bro. I don't pause it. I'm you know why? I'm too scared. <laughs> really? Yeah, bro. You keep it going. You go like, well, uh, mm, 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 you, know? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta pause it, man. You already watched eleven fucking twelve minutes of I mean, it. It's like I saw a video of LeBron's uh kid playing basketball. And he's okay. Well, no, they say oh he's really good, but it's like how good you gotta be how good is he gonna be? Yeah, you gotta be the best. Which you can't be because your dad's the best. Right, that's what I'm saying. Dude, imagine if your fucking dad was the best. That's what I'm saying. It's like, imagine... Oh. Or, uh, you know, it's like any of them. Like, Meryl Streep's daughter's doing... She's an actress. Dude, my dad was 70 when I was born, right? I remember my dad fucking got this Buick. He bought it from some black dude. His dad was 70 when he was born. Holy shit, does that explain a lot. I didn't know you can shoot loads when you're 70. <laughs> Holy wow, hold on. I gotta watch that again. In our neighborhood, back a little that's what I'm bit. saying. It's like, imagine, oh. or, uh, you know, it's like any of the, like Meryl Streep's daughters doing, she's an actress. Dude, my dad was 70 when I was born, right? I remember my dad fucking got this Buick. He bought it from some black dudes in yeah. our neighborhood. He couldn't hear that good. Yeah. Holy it had tw shit. like 22s or something in the back of it, right? Oh, wow. So he had this Cutlass 88, and he would drive around with just base bro just taking your his, dad yeah at 70 oh bro at 80 this is at 80 because so you were 10 this is when i was 10 yeah and he would wow. just drive around one of the speakers blew out and he got a bunch of chinese food and shit in there bro and it literally rattled for like two years just crossed it out oh my god i mean he was kind of great he did you know he lived by himself so he had to take yeah, care of himself right. but so you're saying it, w it was, that was easier for you to become better oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> like the fucking finish line yeah, 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 the yeah, finish yeah. line is yeah. right next to the starting yeah. line I don't think about the shit that matters. Yeah, you don't. Not fun. I fucking just worry about the shit that matters. Yeah, but you also have that fucking thing where it's like, I wonder what Bobby looked like with different lips. Like, yeah. you would think about that. Yeah, I just want, I mean, I think about Bobby a lot, dude, because I worry that he's just mm -hmm. not living up to his full potential. Right. So you think about that, which is very nice, but also you might think, you know. What it's like inside of his girl. No, you know? no. Well, I have a weird thing, and it might be a shortcoming about how, like, once somebody recognizes I've done something, I don't want to like, like I did that the the drunk girls bit that I did went viral, mm -hmm. and once and once that went viral, I, I'm like, I will never do that on stage again. Wow. I don't want to be like, once somebody knows me from something, I don't want to ever do it again. Mm. Like I fucking, I like it. Like I was one of the first people on Vine with a million followers. Mm -hmm. I hated that app because everyone then. All, then it got real not funny right and people were like what's up when your girl walks by and <laughs> you know what i mean it's like what <laughs> and then there's a, 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 a mclaren in the vine for some reason and you're yeah. like where'd they get this fucking mclaren from yeah or somebody's eating marshmallows or something yeah what's that next level you think owning a tank nah well i'll tell you what dude um if i had i could see you getting if, a tank if i had like i mean because here's the thing though well, first of all you you can't keep a tank in L.A. right? So so you not only do you need the money for the tank, you need the money for fucking to transport the tanker to wherever. Have okay, the tank, you have to you get the tank. Saying? You have to get it airlifted yeah. in. I would say I would keep. Uh, you know, you could probably keep it. You could probably keep it somewhere fucking shitty like Albuquerque. <laughs> you could probably keep it in Albuquerque. Yeah. yeah. 
They yeah. would actually probably love it if I kept a tank there. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you'd have to. Yeah, they'd be like, oh, Chris Lee keeps a tank. Yeah, there. you know, Albuquerque, the Albuquerque would literally be like, you know, uh, Albuquerque is great because we have, you know, whatever the crops they have. And then also, Chris Lee keeps his tank here. Yeah, spices. They have spices, yeah. I think. Yeah, they probably do because it's close Unique to the peppers. South. Oh, I remember on the news, that lady got mad at you on the news in uh, yeah. New Mexico mm -hmm. or wherever. Yep. Yep. And you made the news, bro. Did that blow your mind a so, little? So, yeah. The number one thing about that is frats. Like, yeah. I would never join a frat. Join? Right. Join something? <laughs> yeah. Oh, are you out of your mind? <laughs> join something? Yeah, that's great. My, my, my grandfather used to tell my dad, you never volunteer for anything. Wow. Dude, that's hilarious. Wow. <laughs> that's hilarious. And as a kid, I was like, what? But now I get it, dude. Yeah. It's like that Lil Wayne song, I'm me, dude. Yeah. Get out of here. Frat? Yeah. Come on. Have you met Lil Wayne? No. <laughs> no, no. You I would, though. I would love to. Dude, I got invited. Um, So I got invited to uh, this. It was some Saints after party during like a uh, NBA All-Star weekend. This is like a 15 years ago. Oh, or yeah. Okay. Right? 12 years ago. Yeah, in New Orleans. Yeah, yeah. So I go in, and it ends up being in this little bitty conference room at like this, um, at this Westin or something, right? And it's amazing. Like, there's so many, like, the Kardashians are there before they're like yeah, as huge yeah, as yeah, they yeah, are. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of crazy. Wow. And then Manny Fresh and Lil Wayne. Dress, Manny Fresh, bro, wow. Yeah, dressed up like an astronaut, bro, in a total huge hat. And the suit was too big. They should not have put this yeah. big of an astronaut <laughs> suit on him. Comes in, and he's literally rapping, and like, uh, and they did one song and then they jetted, man. But that was as close as I ever got to him. Oh my god, I've never even seen Lil Wayne. Yeah, a lot of people in New Orleans look like they're Lil Wayne. Though. Oh yeah, well that's yes. the thing there. Like you have that haircut. I don't know if you think that that's dope or funny yeah. or both. But that makes it dope to me. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That yeah. makes it sexy. Yeah. I don't even know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I feel like a lot of guys are probably intimidated by you, like in the comedy space, and I probably was. I think mm. you know when I think back. Mm. Um, but then like. You know, you've done like some real nice things for me. Uh, even just like helped me get in over at the Laugh Factory. Oh yeah. And like, um, you know, just uh, you know, like you'll tag your buddies on social. And, like yeah. you'll do stuff that's like super nice. Do you feel like people um, have a misconception about you ever? And this could have just been me and my own inferiority. Yeah, well, too. I don't know. I think that people think that people judge people, and that's fine. You know, right. until you get to know somebody. But if you're like, like I think a lot of people, you know. Um, you know, like I like fashion. I'll wear mm -hmm. a cool jacket. Yeah. I get what people think about that when they see a long haired dude with a fucking beard and a and a and a big and a and a jacket. Yeah, Maximini. Yeah, you <laughs> <laughs> But no, you're like you're like you're like <laughs> Ah, that guy's a fucking asshole. Right. He thinks he's funny? Get he's out of here. He's also an asshole from like the 70s. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those of you that don't know what a writer is, maybe, yeah. like comics know and, and musicians, but it's like what is in the green room when you arrive to a show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you guys literally have the coffee, the ice Americano, you got club so soda water, and then you got my toothbrush and toothpaste, which I also get. Yeah, what, really? What is that for? Do you got a rider? What's in yours? Uh, I, don't, I, I don't. Here's my thing. I don't mind if there's a plate of turkey, deli meat in the in the room. That's the only thing. That's where mine is. That's a good one. I have so yeah. I have this, uh -huh. and then I have vegetables. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> and then, uh, and then I have um, uh, what else do I have? Uh, Tabasco sauce. Yeah. For what? The salmon that I also get. Oh yeah. <sighs> yeah. That's beautiful, man. <laughs> yeah. And do you? Uh, are you pretty adamant about those things? Like right when they get there, or those people know now. No, I mean, they're pretty good about it usually, but some places you show up and they're just like, all right, cool, let's start the show, and then you never get your shit, and you're like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, but I think that that's just, that has nothing to do with, like, you know, I think that some places just aren't good at, you know, having your shit. It's funny, it sounds like a diva thing, but, like, you know, sometimes you count on it to eat, like, you show up and you're like, oh, I haven't eaten, I can't wait to eat that right. salmon, and you show up. And it's nothing. And they're like, what? Yeah, and it's just somebody, you know? just, yeah, it's just a dude standing there. Yeah, 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 like right. remember just like reciting like old vines you did. <laughs> like, you're like, damn, this is not. <laughs> you're like, this, yeah. yeah, you're like, so. does one of these end in my salmon? Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. So apparently, I learned something. So apparently, fucking celebrities have uh, riders. Is that what he was saying? Where you fucking like expectations? I guess like you're supposed to have this and that and. Okay. I mean, I guess it, it doesn't surprise me, right? I mean, if fucking if you got Michael Jordan staying at your hotel, you better take care of that fucker. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I I don't want to compare these fuckers to Michael Jordan, but just you know, just kind of give you an idea. Um, 
but uh yeah i don't know i like this guy i <laughs> i uh i'm trying to remember what i saw i saw him in some show oh i think it was that show uh you that like uh where the dude's like a serial killer or something yeah it's a good show i need to go back to watch and i'm probably behind like a season or two that dude gave me some fucking, uh, some creepy vibes, but I loved every minute of it. That dude's fucking wild, right? I think, uh, I finished the season and I was current. And then when there was that break before the next season, I just never picked it up again. But I need to go back and watch that shit. Well, anyways, if you guys like this, fucking let me know. I'll make some more Crystalia uh, videos. I'll, I'll make a playlist, right? And then, uh, you know... Fucking last week was like the Joey Diaz show, right? I did a bunch of Joey Diaz videos. Now, like, don't get me wrong, I'll, I'll definitely do some more because fuck, dude, Uncle Joey's the shit, man. I love that dude. Um, but uh, and I'll definitely do do, do some more. But I, I gotta uh, branch out a little bit, right? I'm gonna do some more Chris Lee. I think I like this guy. I think he's part of the starting lineup now, right? <laughs> well, anyways, this was good. I hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and like. Go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and take care. Go ahead and peace out.